You know, many of the cars that come into your shop require reprogramming, don't they? Are you doing that? Odds are you're not. If you're like most of the shops that we've talked to, you still haven't jumped off the fence and started reprogramming in-house. Instead, you're choosing to send your money down the street to the local dealer or to that specialist that comes to your shop to do it for you. The reason most tell us that we don't do reprogramming in our shops is because it's too complicated, it's too costly, and a lot of other myths that we hope to dispel in this edition of The Trainer. You know, on the surface, reprogramming seems to be a pretty complicated task to many technicians, but to tell you the truth, it's really not that hard. There are some basic things, though, that you have to keep in mind to keep yourself out of trouble, and it's a lot easier to start on the manufacturer lines that tend to be a little more technician-friendly before you start moving into those that aren't so friendly. GM, for example, has long been known as a platform that's not too bad when you start getting used to the programming functions as compared to, say, Mercedes-Benz. But to get more information on those fundamentals and to keep yourself out of trouble as you step into the waters of reprogramming, I've asked my buddy Dave Cox over at Drew Technologies to lend a hand and his expertise to today's topic. So let's turn it over, Dave. Tell us a little bit about what we need to watch out for as we dive into the world of reprogramming. Hey, thanks, Pete. My name is Dave and I'm with the Drew Technology support team. Today I would like to talk to you about reprogramming. Reprogramming seems to be a scary topic for some shops today. As Pete already mentioned, we are talking about computers, interfaces, and the heart of today's vehicles, electronic control modules. But following a few simple rules when performing a reprogram will keep your concerns to a minimum and allow your shop to keep the job in-house. Let's head over to our toolbox and take a look at the hardware you'll need to perform reprogramming in your shop. So what will you need to start reprogramming in your shop? First off, you'll need a J2534 interface, such as the Drew Technologies Cardac Plus 2. A laptop with a power supply that meets the OEM specifications. A battery maintainer, a stable high-speed internet connection, and of course an active subscription to the OEM you are wanting to program. So let's head over to the vehicle and talk about some important points to remember during the reprogramming process. Some important points to remember when reprogramming to keep failures and errors out of the picture. Never reprogram a module unless you're directed to do so by a TSB or service information for a particular concern. Having service information is a must. The service information will allow you to see all the steps you need to perform during the process. Sometimes when replacing a module, there are additional setup steps that you will need to perform after the reprogramming is complete. And having this information available to you before you start can save you a lot of time in the long run. As I mentioned earlier, always use a battery maintainer. Proper battery voltage is so critical when reprogramming. This will help you eliminate errors or the possibility of the OEM software shutting down because the battery voltage gets too low. Always use an AC adapter with your laptop. Please don't run the risk of the battery going dead on the laptop during the reprogramming as this will also cause errors and failures. Finally, disable any screen savers, sleep function, or antivirus program you may be running on your PC. All of these can interfere with the overall process and again cause failures, errors, and more headaches and trouble for your shop down the line. As you can see, following a few simple rules will help you with the reprogramming process and allow your shop to complete the job efficiently and effectively. Well, Pete, I need to get back to reprogramming this module. Thanks for stopping by Drew Technologies. Dave, thank you so much for taking the time to share your experience and knowledge with us. 
Guys, if you have any questions and you want to know more about how you can dive into the world of reprogramming, the guys at Drew Technologies are certainly among the many sources that you can ask. So give them a call. You'll find the website listed in the description here at the end of the video. And talking about the end of the video, that's all the time we got for this edition of The Trainer. I'll see you next month.